So in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you some tips on how to make sure you maintain your battery health for the longevity. You wanna keep your battery as healthy as long as you have your phone, and these tips will help you do just that. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you wanna learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. So when it comes to lithium batteries, it's really just the nature of the beast that they're gonna degrade over time with charging and draining and usage. It's just going to get worse and worse, but there are certain things you can actually do to maintain the health of your iPhone battery over the long haul. So one of the first things I wanna show you how to do is check your battery health. And that's really easy. You're just gonna go into the settings app on your iPhone. You're gonna go into battery and then you're gonna go into battery health. In there, you'll be able to see the battery health of your phone and if your phone is being throttled which means slow down for the benefit of your battery by apple you'll be able to see that setting in here as well so in order to maintain battery health one of the first things you want to do and i think i've said this in every single troubleshooting video i've placed on this channel make sure that your operating system is as updated as possible even with ios 13 being kind of buggy you definitely want to upgrade your operating system eventually because they do put different power management options and power management patches within those operating systems to make your battery life better and better. It gives your battery the ability to use less power, consume less power, and thus last a lot longer than if you're running an old outdated operating system. So I know a lot of you are probably still on iOS 12 because you don't want to upgrade to iOS 13. That's fine for now, but you definitely want to eventually upgrade because those particular battery settings can hurt you in the long haul if you're running your phone on an old operating system. So the next tip is always want to make sure you keep your phone as cool as possible you want to keep it in a cool temperature area you don't want it to exceed a certain temperature so the iPhone itself is designed to perform in a wide range of different ambient temperatures but the perfect zone is about 62 to 72 degrees that's the comfort zone that you want to kind of keep your phone in anything that's 95 degrees or higher can actually permanently damage your battery capacity. So normally when it comes to lithium batteries, the name of the game is keeping it as cool as possible. If you find that you're in a place where your temperature is exceeding like 95 to 100 degrees, you probably wanna keep your phone in a cool area, in the shade, out of the sun. The hotter your phone gets, the more damage it does to the capacity of your battery and the lesser the lifespan of that battery becomes. And in the long haul, your battery is not gonna be able to withhold as much power and it'll end up dying a lot faster and be a lot less efficient. So another thing you wanna do is when you're charging your phone, you may wanna consider removing certain cases. What can happen is while you're charging your phone, the battery itself is heating up a little bit. If the case itself is also contributing to the heat of the phone, that battery can heat up a lot. So just simply charging your phone with a case can sometimes make the battery overheat and that can also damage the battery itself. So if you have a heavy duty case or something that's really designed to protect your phone, you may want to consider just taking that case off while you're going through the charging process just to be on the safe and cautious side and then you can just put the case back on once the charging is completed. Now let's say for some reason you wanna store your phone for a couple of months or you're going away and you don't wanna bring your phone with you and then keep it stored. What are some of the things you can do to preserve your battery while storing your phone to make sure when you come back your battery life didn't suffer because you stored your phone incorrectly? So when storing the phone, there's two main factors you always wanna consider, the environment and the power that the phone is at when you power it down for storage. Again, the same temperature model comes into play. You wanna make sure you're storing your phone at a comfortable temperature. You don't want to be storing it in anywhere that exceeds 90 to 95 degrees and up. That can end up damaging the lithium battery inside the phone itself. Even though the phone is off, the environment will be heating the phone and causing damage to the phone itself. And you also don't want to overcharge or discharge your phone when you're storing it for a long duration. So the sweet spot is about 50%. You want your phone to be about 50% charge if you're storing it for at least six months or more. That 50% charge, it'll go into a trickle effect where the charge will slowly dissipate over time, especially because the phone is off. Probably wanna, after that six month time frame, connect it back up to a charger, get it back up to 50% and then turn it back off and store it again if you're gonna be storing it for longer than that. This will help maintain the overall battery health of the phone. That way the battery is not completely drained, which is a bad thing, and the battery is not overcharged at 100% 
which can also be a bad thing. Now you may also want to look into optimizing your phone for battery performance while you're using it. And that can also help you with your battery health because then you won't be charging your phone as much and the phone won't drain as fast. Two of the most important things I focus on when optimizing my phone to have the best battery life possible is data and screen. So you want to make sure your screen brightness isn't super high. I know these screens are beautiful. You want to take as much advantage of the screen as possible, but the higher you put your screen, it's just simply the more battery it's going to use. It's one-to-one -one correlation. So if you raise your screen level really high, you're going to use a ton of battery life. So if you want to keep it in the middle or sweet spot, that's good. If you want to put it on the auto brightness, that's also pretty good. The phone automatically adjusts based on the brightness that you're at, but some people don't like that. So you can actually just kind of keep it in the middle and you'll be good to go. Using data in general 3g 4g 4g lte can actually drain your battery a lot faster than if you're using wi-fi so my suggestion is whenever wi-fi is available i would toggle that on and use that as your data connection versus your actual data connection the wi-fi connection is going to use a lot less battery than your data connection whenever it's an option that's the option i would definitely go to in order to preserve as much battery as possible now you can actually dim and control your wi-fi connection from the control panel itself just by swiping down you'll have have both options there. Now, if you want to adjust or turn on or off your auto brightness on your iPhone, it's actually hidden a little bit in the settings. So settings, accessibility, display, and you can set the auto brightness on or off in that particular setting. So another option that the iPhone offers is of course, low power mode. And what low power mode basically is, is just your phone kicking into kind of a reserve power when the battery is low. Now this actually comes on automatically. If your phone hits about 20%, it warns you. If it hits about 10%, it warns you again, and then gives you the ability to turn on low power mode with one touch but you can also turn on low power mode yourself if you'd like and that's going to be in the battery settings so again settings battery and you have your low power mode option there some people turn this on when they know they want to preserve battery over the long haul it keeps the bare minimum on the phone running so you're still able to receive phone calls and but everything else is kind of stripped to the bare bones uh, it's kind of a last ditch effort but if you realize that you're not going to be near a charger and your phone is dropping to a very low critical rate you may want to consider low power mode as one of your options to preserve your battery life remember you just don't ever want your phone to fully die to go to zero that's going to be bad for the battery in the long haul so another thing you want to check is the background app refreshing so this is apps trying to grab information while they're not launched on the screen itself when you've closed the app out sometimes it doesn't close out completely what it does is it continues to refresh in the background this can use up a ton of battery based on how big the app is how much data it's actually downloading and how much information it's actually up Dating. So you can actually turn this off. So you're going to go into settings, general and background app refresh. And in there you can actually select if you want the app to refresh on Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and data or not at all. So you can actually choose which option. Again, always default to Wi-Fi if you're on a Wi-Fi signal you're using a lot less battery. So this can actually help you. And you're also using a lot less data. Maybe you're somebody who pays for a data plan and you don't need all that information being refreshed in the background. You can actually turn this off so it only updates on Wi-Fi. So you're kind of saving on both ends. So some other quick tips you can do is turn off location-based services and that's in settings again, privacy, location services you can make adjustments there you can also take a look at your notifications and settings and notifications you can tap the app that you want to turn the notifications off for what this can do is sometimes apps will send you notifications which will illuminate the screen on a continuous basis if you're getting continuous text message pushes if you're getting email pushes if an app itself is sending you advertisements or updates your screen is turning on your screen is turning off so you want to just keep an eye on your notifications making sure that they're not illuminating your screen too often causing your screen to turn on causing your battery life to die without you even using the phone and also if you're charging your phone via a laptop or computer you want to make sure that those devices are plugged into a power the actual laptop or computer itself if you're charging via that usb port and the power of the laptop or computer actually dies it can end up sucking power from your device rather than providing power to your device so you want to be careful how you charge your device you want to be careful how you use your device to make sure you're maintaining 100 percent battery health for the longevity of your phone. So now if you want to learn a little bit more about what features you should definitely turn off on your iPhone to preserve your privacy, go ahead and click on this video here. This is something that YouTube believes you would enjoy watching. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, guys. Peace.